Glenn is sitting in the passenger seat of the wagon, as she generally is now. And she's going... Sorry? We don't have the wagon. We just have the four Uh-oh. horses. Or three horses. Okay, Glenn is... I think she. I guess she was riding behind... You were riding Wick? with Wick, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so then she is going to... Say to him... Well, I guess that didn't go all bad, right? Uh, Wickham is going to chuckle and shake his head and say, I mean, no, he could have died. We could have lost his soul forever. Um, I could have lost you or August or, you know, Corn. We could have we could have been down some people. Instead, we have a broody grounded drow heading back to the house, and you look like you need a nap. I think we all do. Well, I wouldn't say no to a nap, but what are we going to do about Alice? Can we lock him in his room, or I feel like he could just escape. We probably could. I feel, I feel like his biggest... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, brain. His biggest temptation is gone. And I don't... I don't want to hold it over him too long. I know he had good intentions. I just... We've seen what it does to everyone. And we didn't want to lose him that way. So, we'll get over this. It's just gonna take a little bit of mending. I think there should be an evaluation on if he actually still wants to be part of this group, since he so easily cast us aside. Because he just wants to to care about her feelings, and I don't like that much. Are you saying, Eric? In what way are you okay with losing him? Sorry. Well, he said I wouldn't want to lose him in that way, so. In what way would you be okay? If you just wandered into a supermarket, got lost. (laughs) That's the way. I mean, I I get get your joke, but Mm. I wouldn't want to lose him regardless. Especially, I don't know. But yeah, we'll we'll see. It did hurt that he just fucking ignored us in every way possible. Wow, wonder wonder what that's like. Bruh. Ooh, you think I'm well, not gonna hold this against you forever? I'm working on it. I think we're all we all are. It's worth a conversation though, in the future. After we all at least sleep. Or do something fun. Before we have to, you know, jump back into the fray. Yay. Speaking well, of which, it doesn't wasn't fun. But I was talking to the mayor, and he said people in town were sad. I thought I should probably check. Like you want to go into well, town I mean, and check? Yeah, like even just after we rest. I don't know. We're okay. adventurers. Isn't it our duty to make sure everyone's happy? Yeah, I mean, should we figure out some things to make people happy if they are still sad? I mean, I'm sure they're probably sad, but what can we do to cheer them up? I was just gonna go talk to people. I mean, I think the the refugees are gonna be sad regardless. We lost some at Hall. Well, maybe they just need a pie. I have I an idea. Wonder. And it's a very silly idea, as most of my ideas are. Mm-hmm. What do we think about a fair? Fair? Yeah, like a carnival. Putting on something fun for the town? Yeah. Have like dunk booths for the kids. Stuff like that. I mean, Uh, it probably would raise people's spirits, but at the same time... I guess every moment that we're not chasing down a cult feels like another lost moment. Well, we don't have to be there, but we can arrange it. A rin fair. Or it could make people a target. Is it I don't a... know what's her up to these days. 
Would a Ren Fair in this <laughs> in this setting be like a current fair? It's meta, isn't it? A little. I don't like it. <laughs> Ren oh, Fair is yeah. just normal affair. <laughs> Ren Fair would likely be a uh, fair of the time before there was Bludgeon Ball and therefore not very popular. I guess. <laughs> in the before times. In the dark times. Before there was fun and excitement and good games, they all played Scrabble. But the yeah. alphabet only had five letters, so it wasn't uh. exciting. <laughs> and no vowels. <laughs> not a vowel to be found for miles and miles. It wasn't actually called Scrabble, it was called Scrooble. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. I mean, things that could raise people's spirits probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, it was just I feel like every it. time I try to get a drink, it, something gets ruined. Well, it doesn't sound like my fault ever. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> August just glares. <laughs> yeah, shooting shooting daggers at Glenn. What can we just feel like? Yeah, nothing is ever your fault. You've never done anything wrong in your life. Thank you. Atlas can Atlas sneezes anime style. Who's talking about me? I mean, Could Glenn do. potentially rest on said trip? Well, it's about an hour's trip, so okay. no. a short rest, maybe. No, it's okay. I need the spell slots. I thought I would check. I wasn't. I lost all train of how long it took us to actually travel here. I would appreciate if certain individuals, namely all of you, made a perception check, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't see shit. I rolled a natural one. 18. Wow. I haven't even been doing my tracker lately. 18. Alrighty. My marker sucks. Glenn. Yeah. Which horse are you riding right now? I assume we're on Clippy Cloppy? Uh, no, August is on Clippy Cloppy. You're on Burt Marshmallow. Yeah, Burt Marshmallow. Okay. All right. I am so on you're, Burt Marshmallow. You're just riding and vibing on the back of Burt Marshmallow. And Burt Marshmallow kind of pauses for a little bit and slows down just for a moment. And he says, um, hey. Um, I got a question for you. I have a question out of character first, if you yep. don't mind. Does this sure. cost a spell slot? Because it, I don't have nope. any. Okay, no. I just wanted to be sure. Nope. Nope. Didn't want did, to you, did, you didn't cast a spell. Okay. Sorry, God. Hey, uh, I got a question for you. Yeah, anything for you, Burt Marshmallow. Yeah. Um, do you want me to go really, really fast? Because I think that would be awesome. It does sound awesome. Because, um, I can smell some burning in the air, and I think it'd be really awesome if we went into it, and then I could jump through it, and then it would look amazing, and I'd be the handsomest horse. Namesake and everything, right? That sounds so cool. Um, I think I should check with Wick, though, too, because he's also riding. Is that okay? Which one? Which one of you is Wick? The one sitting on top of you that isn't me. Oh, is oh. he asking which of the two of us? Oh my god, that's it's... adorable. <laughs> the large one in front. I'm the greenish one. Or the smaller one. Okay. So she's going to turn to Wick and say, um, Bert Marshmallow says that he wants to run really fast and look really cool, and it sounds really awesome. Oh, I think he said something about a fire up ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Really fast? You fucking McWhat? Uh, 
burnt marshmallow just... wants to go fast and look cool into the fire. There's a fire out there. And she's going to point. Okay, so, so, Wick, you're concerned that Glenn is just talking to horses out of nowhere. Actually, August, I... Glenn, and Ericron. I'm going by your roles here. Okay. That's this is the yeah. <laughs> Ericron, Glenn, and August are concerned about the fire ahead. <laughs> so looking ahead, you notice that there have been some very quick bonfires that have been set. And you see six figures between them in the night. Oh no. Are they moving? Can we tell if they're alive? Oh, you can definitely see they're moving. Are so, they moving like they're bad guys? Like, are they twirling mustaches? Uh, you could make me an insight check with disadvantage. Wow, okay. I do that roll too. I know I'm not going to nail this, but I still want to. You, you guys all can, uh, except for Wick. Oh, who is like, I rolled two fourteen. Mm, no, only a five plus. Oh, holy shit, three, I thought eight. it's an insight. It's wisdom. <laughs> That's what your elven eyes see. Um, you judge from the fact that they are pointing towards you. Uh, they're igniting their, uh, you know, a few of them are igniting their swords on fire. Um, and that they're wearing fire cultist robes that they probably have hostile on Oh no. You think okay. you heard the words murder them in the in in the You may have heard them. And I check to make sure Atlas Lake isn't around and make sure he got he didn't get caught by them or anything. Now you don't see him, but who knows? Okay, thanks. Love that. <laughs> but we you just know, saved this motherfucker. Well You don't you don't see him or anything. I spoke really that right. I'm with Burnt Marshmallow, and let's jump through some fire. Oh dear god. I take it that that's Glenn pointing out the fire coldest to Wick? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna require everyone to roll initiative first. Oh okay. my god damn nap. Is it because I was really <laughs> cool when I did that? Oh, I take your silence as yes, you are super cool. Oh no, that's terrible initiative. <laughs> Speechless you are. <laughs> it was super cool. Initiative is terrible. Thank you. August is back to his mid rolls for initiative. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't remember why I get advantage on initiative. Cause you're a barbazon. Okay. Well, let me roll my advantage then. Please and thank you. Fourteen. Um. Oh, this pen is nice. I know that it says I have advantage on initiative, but I always forget if it's only in combat or if it's all the time. Your initiative bonus is what? Wait, what? I have an A next to it, which is what I would denote as advantage. That's why I was wondering out loud. Yeah. Why do I have advantage? Yeah, no. Yeah, that would... Well, I mean, advantage is only really ever done in combat, so... It'd be pretty... Pretty darn terrible if it only applied out of combat, I think. But, you know, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I, I've had you guys roll some weird shit. That is true. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> Thanks for reminding the DM of our homework, Laurel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyways. You didn't say I should roll for random encounters until <laughs> Laurel said, can I reset my spells? I'm the worst. <laughs> I still have some. Okay. I'm not out. I've just used a lot of the good ones. Yeah, I was gonna say... 
We'll be just fine. I still have all my cantrips and a sickle. We ain't even got started yet, bruh. Well, look, uh, maybe stopping a, you know, a friend who's a drow, you know, from getting with a trident is a little more difficult for me, but hitting other people isn't that hard hey, for me. Who are we to say about their relationships, okay? <laughs> look, I had a really hard time last week. I was screaming and everything. Wow. Wow. I have been red. And I had two characters up there smacking the (laughs) shit out of Atlas, and he still wouldn't lose the concentration. So I suppose it is up to Erica? (laughs) It is up you know, to Aerocron. We'll say, okay, I did do a oopsie. Oh. I did not like mark down anything that he used because I couldn't mm-hmm. access his sheet. Uh, take about one spell slot of each spell level. We'll just I know I used Guiding Bolt. I know I used Command. Yeah, used control, but not a ton. And my, my, um, it didn't go through for some reason, but. My role was an eight. Not a, that eighteen was for that insight. All right then. You know what? We're about to get shit on. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> Boop. I'll just I'll just put you down there. Appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I mean. Please don't kill our horses. You're. Oh, <laughs> I told you I'm sorry. I'm Can sorry, say, but I'm jumping off the horse here. <laughs> No. Burton Marshall still wants to jump through that smoke, and I think we should let him. <laughs> well, uh, some swords are on fire, and some crossbow bolts are being shot. Um, are you questioning Burton Marshmallow's um, courage? How dare you, sir? Wow. How dare you, sir? I will die for Burton Marshmallow. Well, you know what? That sounds no. like you're volunteering. No! I've of done so I'm much alone. bad. Right, so let's start with two shots against uh, who's on first. Uh, that's a nine, so that's going to be... Uh, but I rolled the wrong die. That's a three, that's going to be August. Oh, Thanks. What's your what's your AC there, August? Nineteen. Uh, how much cover do I have for that? Full. <laughs> wow. All right, let me check. <laughs> you can use burnt marshmallows cover too. Mm. That makes it sound like he's died, dead already. Leave, leave my horse <laughs> no. alone. Damn. That just gave Sona some feelings. That's my, that's my prima donna horse. So I'm assuming then a 17 does not hit you. Nah. Ooh. Um, All right. So I'm 15. So two shots go towards August. Um, August deflects them easily. And one's going to head towards Wick with a natural one. They're crossbow jams and they drop it in frustration. And hey, Glenn. Yes. Um, another crossbow bolt aims straight towards you. However, Wick is in the way and Wick Uh just swats it like a fly. Because Wick is that awesome. Thanks, Wick. Because it's like, no. Yeah, no. (laughs) No. Let's get out of here. No. Uh, And Ericron, um, does an 18 hit you? It does not. 18, Ericron just deflects. Um, Hey, Wicky. Wiki, mm-hmm. wiki, wiki, watang, bang, bang, gang, bang, zoom, knee. It's your turn. All right. How far away are these guys? 
Oh, they're about 60 feet away, but you're on a horse. And so the horse can do the motion for you. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, we're doing friendly fire, right? Um, there's nothing friendly about this fire. No, I meant my friendly fire. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah. Okay. So, if I see that Glenn is getting shot at, my friends are getting shot at, and they might possibly be trying to shoot at my horse, can I spur a Burnt Marshmallow forward, go into a rage, and swing uh, my axe at them? While not uh, you setting Glenn on fire? Your, your, your fire has long ago not been setting your friends on fire. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah I'd like to do that. Whoever specifically right. uh, shot at Glenn, I want to attack them with my axe. All right. Uh, you, you, you just rush forward. The bolt, you swat out of the way. Um, and you, your horse is in. You and Glenn are now in melee range successfully. And then uh, you are you getting off the horse, or are you, like, still on the horse with your axe? You know what? I think I'm gonna get off the horse. That way Glenn can maneuver. Alright. Uh, I would like you to make me an athletics check, please. Oh, yeah, I got that. But yeah, I'm Oh, probably. Sorry, math. Six that three. is not a number. Oh, easily. Um, make me an attack roll, please. Okay, uh, can I do it at Reckless? Do you want to do it at Reckless? You absolutely can do it at Reckless. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Uh, wait. Where is my mouse? I can't find it. There it is. I have to double check what I'm hitting with. It's another 16. I don't know why I didn't think that. For the first that's one. a hit for sh I think that's a hit. That is, uh, oh wait, no, a 16 is not a hit. All right. Can I swing again? You certainly may. Oh, I can give you another one. I think that one hits, uh, a 20, mod 20. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. Uh, losing my mouse. So I need you. <sighs> and one of you. Uh, 13 points of thunder or lightning or the non-fire. Thunder, yeah. yeah. And how much fire? Oh, we uh, did that. Or ice? Uh, I wasn't adding um, my rage, so add rage, so 13, 14, 15. Uh, yep. Uh, do I roll for fire? Uh, you can roll for fire or cold damage, of course. Uh, well, I rolled 1d8 plus 1d6 plus the 6 already okay nope and i'm assuming you're using the cold side then yeah 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 okay so you do a little bit of cold damage in there as well okay. yeah Excellent. doing cold that's your turn they're fire and you know yeah uh i just got the note that dinner is ready i will be right back uh august your turn is up right after this after august will be Eracron. one moment please okay oh dinner so, I... Don't choose the time when dinner hits, so... <laughs> I want your dinner. That's all I'm telling you. And I demand satisfaction. I fully support Glencora getting the McHeck out of Dodge with the horse. I am just fine here, Captain. Well, 
She'll salute him and like wink. <laughs> she she's got plans. She knows what she's doing. All right. Don't you worry. As long as you know what you're doing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're ready. I'm just figuring out how much of a pain in the ass I want to be for Drake. I I do like the idea of Wickham just kind of setting on fire, rolling up to a bunch of dudes with crossbows, like hopping off a horse and then just smacking them with his axe going, No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You do not come at us. Not today. Yesterday, I would have been down for a little tumble. That would have been fun. We would have all enjoyed that. We would have had a laugh. I would have killed you. Now, I'm mad. I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to hurt, and it's going to be <laughs> faster. I'm not going to get nearly as much enjoyment out of it. <laughs> August is like, I just want a fucking nap! <laughs> Where is Atlas? Punch my friend! <laughs> Several times! <laughs> Bitch wouldn't break concentration. I wish Glenn could hold that kind of concentration. Right? Is that, that Shit. Scene, it's the scene from the uh, Avengers where the Hulk, <laughs> Iron Man's punching the Hulk. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, fuck. It is so much what it felt like. Okay, the thing was is that Atlas has a plus seven to con, con saves. So even when he and he only ever had to roll a ten to keep the, con the the concentration. So anytime he at least rolled a three, he made it. it so we he, we were trying to get him to him to roll a two or a one. Otherwise, he was fine. You know, the odds were not in our favor, and I really thought we weren't going to make it. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> Very much that vibe. Basically. I'm going to grab a cola while Drake is gone. <laughs> My only thing is I don't know if I want to ride Clippy Cloppy all the way up to them and then try to like get him to go to run away because I don't want him to be in the fray, but that means I'd have to waste a turn on movement. Uh, you would lose half of your movement too. Dismounting. Wickham doesn't I mean, have regardless, that. I'm not a mounted fighter. Wickham doesn't have that yeah. issue. His whole thing is just that in the middle, get hit, hit other people. Well, that's a barbarian. What I'm, most, what I'm most worried about is that Glenn's going to decide that she loves mounted combat. <laughs> <laughs> that is a feat, baby. Well... We can always have goals. We're gonna have yeah, to train I mean, one of our horses I bet somewhere in this army. Yeah. It's gonna end hey, Glenn, up being truly. Hey, Glenn, you got any hobbies or anything? Uh, yeah, I'm into jousting. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, like watching the sport or something. No, I I joust. Like I. I <laughs> no joust. plenty tips for me, sir. <laughs> okay, but that would and be that would be even funnier if we're gonna host a fair. Glenn finds out she's into she's into fucking horse combat. She's just like a sleeper agent. He's <laughs> both the jouster and, has... and the horse. <laughs> right, and oh my God. like it has nothing to do with her skill. She just had chatted with the horse beforehand. And he's like, "Don't worry, I got this. I've seen this like a million times." The only thing oh, better would be if she was a if she was a centaur. <laughs> Boo. Wow. All right. Uh, August. Still yeah, it's my turn. I still don't know what to fuck do. Um, okay, so how I, they're about 60 feet away from where I am? Uh, yeah, but you have a horse, so you can make that zero feet without using your actions. Really? Yes. Without, because well, the horse is without... taking the action. <laughs> okay, so I could... What if I only wanted to... Ride Cliffy Cloppy 30 feet and then dismount. You're allowed to do that. I'm not going to stop you. Okay. I want to ride because I don't want him in the middle mists of the fray. I want him on the outskirts of the fray. So get him up 30 feet and then I'll yeah. run the other 30 feet. Okay. And then I'll just sword, sword straight to someone's face. And with someone's because there's like uh, five guys with flaming swords. Surprise me, they all look the same to me right now. Okay. 
<laughs> Not the one I you guess we can the rat for. were looking for. A different one. Go get him, champ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll me an attack roll then. If uh, I get to four, choose, sure, let's do plus, it. Okay. Oh no! Plus, Are you chosen uh, Kofi No, I didn't. I I said one of those, like the bad guys, <laughs> one of the one of the Eternal <laughs> Flame cultists, yep, not okay, the Roman okay, Wiccan. Yep, okay. That, yep. Yep. I. I. Yep. Okay. Roll okay. your attack roll, please. <laughs> it was fourteen plus. I'm trying to find my. I think it's eight now. When did that happen? Okay. That, okay. That'll hit. Yeah. Okay. So your damage. And it's one D eight. I feel like I haven't fought in so long, like with my sword in forever. One D eight plus five. Okay. Where is a D eight? Um oh, that's only a one plus five, so six. Okay. But then smack him again. <laughs> yes. That is a twelve plus eight. That's a hit. So, okay. And then another D8. Oh, well, come back. That is an 8 plus 5. 13. Okay. Okay, that's your normal action. You still have your bonus action. I thought that... Oh. Uh, no, I'm, I don't really have any of those that I want to use right now, except for second win, so I'm good. All right. Um, that's your turn. Hey, Eric Cron, Cron, I've been Cron so long, I've been Cron, Cron, Cron so long. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadians get that joke. So, you mean you or Laurel? My girl, you mean the world to me. She's gone. Probably gone too far in a copyright us already. Well, probably will, yeah. It's the world to me. Gone, 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 she's gone so long, and we've gone, gone, gone so long. All right, right. All right. I was, I was just waiting for my turn. Yeah, please go ahead. <laughs> um, how far how far out uh, did we say we were from these guys? Uh, 60 feet, but you can close it with your horses. Okay. Um, I'm going to get... I'm going to ride up 30 feet and then close the distance with uh, a bonus action with my Misty Step. Oh, you just bamf in there. Yeah, uh, right in the middle of them, if possible. Okay. Um, yeah, so you you hop off the horse, you run forward, you leap into the air, and then all of a sudden you are in the, uh, the ever-living, poof, and you run through for a little bit, and then poof, you are on the other side of them. Wherever you want to be. Yeah, um, I guess... Going after the guy that took a shot at me. All right. Give him what for? Oh, I'll swing away. Swing bada 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 swing bada. Oh, soft 20. That's good enough. Damage. Seven. Seven. Seven damage, and then okay. swinging again. Yep. Twelve? Uh, Twelve will not hit. Okay. And I'll end my turn with that. Okay. Quick turn. Uh, next up is uh, uh, Glencora. Or so as I put here, cantrips and a sickle and early onset aging. Well, you want to see what we can do with that shit? Uh, yes, we, we would like to see what you can do with that shit. So Glenn has been riding, basically, since she could walk. And she feels fairly confident she can keep control of all these horses. So she drops the reins. And I don't know if I have to roll something for this. But she... <laughs> 
starts to use her weight to like train to like control where the horses go which is totally i think any half decent trained horse should but i won't go off and she calls out just verbally not magically to the other horses char and clippy cloppy and say to me guys and while her hands are pointed out she shoots out for or a burst of magic and from it spring four beasts of a challenge rating of half or lower and they charge towards the baddies oh my god okay so where would you like the horses to go just to me because then i just want to hunker down and like i just want to be able to like grab hold of their reins all right you won't be able to move the horse that you're on though because wait's already ate that movement for you no that's fair i just want like to feel like i've got control you know or to make yeah. sure it sounded like I knew. Just so you know, that I could. If you do this and you pull them to you, you're going to pull them into the fray. Oh, I'm in the fray. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I can't use any movement then. Uh, you can't use any movement of the horse you're on. Your okay. movement and everything else is perfectly couched. All right. Well, I'm going to pose to move backwards and indicate for the horses to go to where I'm going to be, if that makes sense. Like, out of the fray. All right. So you're going to go out of the fray, and you're going to summon the horses to meet you there. Yes. Um, I would like you to roll me animal handling, please. Yes. Sixteen. All right, 16. You order the horses to go. And um, you get a, yeah, yep, all right, we're going. I'm going to look beautiful over there. And a, okay, all right, sure, from uh, from Clippy Cloppy, who uh, doesn't really say much of anything. And they, uh, they take your guidance. Um, and then you summon, you're casting a uh, summon witch again. Um, four animals of CR half, I believe. Which spell? Um, conjure animals, four beasts with a challenge rating of half or lower. Cool. I appreciate that. It's just, you know, I want to see what I can do with that. So. Sorry. It's all good. Or half or lower. Hmm. All right. So as you do that, um, you summon four identically looking copies of the horses you already have, except they are wearing barding and they look like they are a lot more dangerous in their demeanor. I hope and their they, nostrils are real flared. Super sassy. They are extra sassy, except for uh, Neo Clippy Cloppy, who looks absolutely normal. Love it. All right. Okay. And I roll initiative for them. Mm -hmm. nope, they go at the end of your initiative. Oh. My thing says I roll initiative for the summon creatures as a group. You can go ahead, just roll initiative. It's a it plus really one. Matter. I was just kidding. Actually, uh, five. You actually want to roll five? Good. And there, where would you like to sum of them exactly? Um, can they like run out of our horses and into the fray? You can summon them wherever you want, just not inside horses, of course. But that would be so cool if it looked like it was like a mirage coming of like fey horses coming out of our horses. That's all I'm saying. Possibly. I just need to know where you're summoning the horses. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Like I'm summoning them. Where are they going to end up? Are you so From yeah. in front of Glenn to running into or to being okay. into the like in front of the bad So you're, you're starting them in front of you is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So um, as you uh as they call out and, and the three horses start to go to the location you're going back to, you start waving your hands and 
a strange mist billows up from the ground. And as the horses pass, four copies of them spring up, uh, just a little bit larger, a little bit angrier, ready for action. It's someone else's turn now. And he's got a question. Okay, yeah, he's got to do it. He's got to do it this way. So, um, Glenn. Yeah. Um, let me just make it out here. I like where this is going. Oh boy, notes. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I don't know what you're you talking about. That us fighters would not, or us tanks wouldn't care if you said our names, but the second you said Glenn, like all of us are like shit. Instant reaction of we're going to murder this man. Whoever is it, whoever it is, uh, man, woman, whatever, whoever is hurting Glencora, dead. Okay, so Glenn, what I happened? need you. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you you sound so depressed about this. But that's okay. I still need you to make. Uh, we're gonna get you to make some uh, dexterity savings for throws for me, namely one Not real. for Glencora, please. Oh, it didn't land square. I feel like I shouldn't take it. It was like teetering on the corner of a nat 20, and that felt wrong, so I felt, I felt immoral. Um, I felt guilty. Is it a saving throw? Yeah. 14. Uh, 14 saves. Excellent. Uh, now I need you to make three for the three horses, or actually no, two for the horse uh, for uh, Clippy Cloppy and Bert Marshmallow. Bert Marshmallow is going to have his feelings hurt about that because he thinks he's off. Sorry, not, with me. not not Bert Marshmallow Char. Oh, okay. Do I? I uh, hang on. I have it. They have a plus one. I have it up. <laughs> I was just going to say I have it in front of me. No. Oh no, they have a plus zero. Never mind. Oh. I trusted may, you. May the odds be in your favor. Um, I rolled a seven and an eight. Please don't kill my horse. We obliterated oh. a man over a bat we didn't know. You think we're gonna let anyone get away with hurting our horses? Can I also get you to make uh, four saving throws for the war horses, please? Oh god, so much commitment. <laughs> Twelve, nine, six, twenty. Twelve, nine, six, twenty. Uh, so one of them saves, the others do not. Okay. Does that do anything? Um. Oh, it'll do something, all right. Okay. Right now, a thing okay, is being done. Okay, so nine. I also might need to know what um, armor class they have with their barding because I think there's different kinds. Um, the war horse has a war horse okay. armor class. Has, horse. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm just doing a check here. Okay. So, um, 18 for those that did not save. 18 points of damage? Yes. Holy no. shit. Oh. <clears throat> and nine for those that did save, including Glencora. Damn. So, yeah. And so one of them waves his hands in the air 
and um, this ghost spirit that resembles him peers up behind him with arms that look like um, uh, like some sort of gunpowder turret. And then this ghost with the gunpowder turret arm aims towards Glencora and launches. And a uh, what looks like a flaming cannonball shoots out, arcs up, and then lands and explodes in a huge area, uh, setting fire to the area around. Um, and uh, explodes uh, as the ghost fades away and the fireball the fireball spell is cast oh fuck oh, all but one sorry oh. you have very good questions I appreciate that you're asking the smart questions. I'm sorry, you probably said it already. How close is that guy to me? Does it matter? Um, you'd have to disengage with the uh, flamey sword guy. Well, even to do a reaction. What's your reaction? I don't know. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure out silvery barbs. Oh, um, you can use that to give them disadvantage on something. And then give advantage to someone else. Okay. He has not done a thing that could do that. Okay. Well, it said something about an attack roll, so I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, there's no attack roll here. Okay. Oh, okay. And now it's uh, Eternal Flame Cultist time. Oh, was that him? The before? Wait. What? Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no, it's wild horses. Your, oh, okay. uh, your horses. I thought to say, that guy wasn't the eternal flame priest. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one? I thought it was the do... priest and the sun goddess all over again. <laughs> so what are you going to do with your, with your wild horses? Okay, so there is one, two, three, four... Five bad guys in total? Uh, six total. Six, okay. Well, the horses are going to the fourth horse that's saved, if that mm -hmm. matters to you. I don't know if it's just mostly my bookkeeping. Um, he is going to charge towards the Eternal Flame Priest with his trampling charge. Yep. And then the other three horses are going to each pick a flame cultist and do mm -hmm. a charge at them. All right. Okay. Let's roll the one against the priest first, please. Cool, cool, cool. So he... Let's see the hoops attack on the same charge. Okay. So I just roll an attack on the same. 17. 17 is a it. Yay. So now he has to succeed on a 14 strength saving throw. Yep. He does, does not. not. So now I can make an attack roll with my hooves. All right, let's roll the damage for the first, though. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got excited. No, 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 no. I'm happy that you got excited. <laughs> Please roll damage. So, 2d6. Seventeen points of damage, bludgeoning. Okay. Now roll your second attack. Because he's on the ground, he's prone, so this will be with advantage. Okay. I'm not used to having melee. Four. So I rolled a 16. 
That's oh, a hit. And then plus five or six. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then I get to stomp those guys too? Yeah, no, this is your first attack. Oh, gosh, this is so much fighting. Yeah, this is still on the priest. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> this is my hoof attack, right? This is what he gets. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. <laughs> that was exciting. Now let's do two more horses, please. So much stomping. Yeah. All right. So I rolled a 12 for the one. Mm, that's a mess. Mess. So he just like kind of runs off and can he yeah just runs past and then turns around and gets ready to hoof a bitch oh that's a nine that's a mess and then i have one more Mm -hmm. 17. that is a hit barely (laughs) so i'm going to trample charge him and he has to save on a strength throw again Already failed. Please roll damage. So then I do my D6. Seventeen. Eight. And roll your attack again because of uh, horse's ability. And uh, remember, this is with advantage. Ten. Or, sorry, eleven. Eleven is not a hit. So can he just like charge by as well? Um, well, he's already like blanked into him, okay. and he's like rearing up and then going down, and he just rolls right out of the way. Okay. But that's okay because it's their turn now. Um, one of them is engaged with Wick. Yep. He, he completely fails to do anything to Wick. Uh, Let's try again. Did you roll with advantage since I did reckless? I did not. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. I'm thank, gonna keep thank you for reminding me. Yeah. I'm gonna he keep he did in fact hit you. That's fine. He hit you with a uh, twenty-three. Yep. Instead of a natural one. Yep. Hmm. I'm fine. I'm I gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Yep. You're gonna murder him. Is what you're gonna do, right? <laughs> Naturally. This yeah. just not a good time. Uh, Wick takes uh, two plus two, so four points of physical damage and one point of fire damage after your resistance. And after the whole rage bonus thing. I assume. Oh. Shit. Oh. So... Two physical damage and two <laughs> uh, and one fire damage. So three points. Mm-hmm. And another one's going to attack you because holy crap! Quick, please. Because I I the immune to fire basically, and I'm reject. Fire yeah, that's a mess. Fire cult just picked the wrong wrong guy. The right day, wrong guy. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to hit, but it won't do much. So that will be 10 plus 2 is 12 damage divided into 2 is 6. Uh, August. Uh, you got a couple uh, dude bros on you. Yeah. Well, never mind. Don't say anything. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, does. Um, I don't think a 16 hits you, does it? Well, then if a 16 doesn't hit you, a 12 certainly won't. Nah. Uh, Glenn. Yeah. Um, how much emotional damage are you able to take? None. Oh, I know what you're going to do. All right. All right, you hit me. <laughs> okay. Uh, natural 20. 
my feels. Um, six, eight, eleven. Um, is that something that I can reflect? I don't know how it works. No, because you're not in range. Damn. Uh, okay. Thirteen. So one of the wild fey horses takes. Uh, okay, that's okay. I'm glad to see you're relieved. Um, <laughs> takes thirteen points of damage. I believe that's enough you're gonna to kill. kill Kipley Kipley. Do you? Which one? Sorry. Uh, it's thirteen damage to one of the wild horses. Is it the like? I think I've got two that are out and one that's on top of the cultist potentially. So does it matter? Well, it's yeah, it's the one that's on top of the trampled cultist, okay. not the priest, but the other one. Sorry. So yeah. that'll that'll kill him. But that's what horses are for. Yeah, they they were fodder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. This is a circle of life. All right. Uh, Wick. Uh, I'm just gonna keep hitting this dude because he thought that it would be okay. Actually, no. How far away is the dude that uh, set Glencore on fire? Uh, you'd have to take two attacks of opportunity to get past them. Um, he's about uh, fifty feet away. Okay, I'll dude. I'll just keep hitting the dude that's in front of me. Talk to you on him later. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um. I'm just gonna attack again, reckless, because. Oh no. Did uh, I get skipped? Oh. Uh, no, I think it's no. still. No, you're underneath. No. Oh. You're underneath me. There yeah, is... yeah. Wait, that was just the cult. Cult us. Okay. So, there's uh, gonna be a lot of mass kicking. You might not have noticed. <laughs> so, 15 oh, plus I... 7, I think, hits? What is What hits? 15 plus 7. 22? Yes. Yeah. Please roll damage. Alright, so six plus four, six uh, plus my rage, eleven, twelve, plus I think it's six. Well, that's enough to delete. Plus six, yeah, plus six. <laughs> Despite all your age. <laughs> so that's for that one. <laughs> so that's if... one problem gotten rid of. You still have another attack. Yeah. Um, can I just turn and you still have your movement? And you can still activate your flame aura. You can turn and what would you like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna start heading closer toward the priest and just mow people down as I go. <laughs> Alright. Make your mow row, please. All right, I'm going to use two different dice this time, just to be fair to my dice, because I don't want them to feel like I'm playing favorite. Uh, 17 plus 7. I'm pretty sure that was. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Grab. We use you already. We're going to grab you and you. So that's 8 plus 4. 10, 11, 12. Plus rage. 12, 13, 14. Plus 6. 20? Okay. And then Flamora kicks in. Yeah. Which I know you All add, right. so I don't have to. Because it's so much math. Well, because I know I know what you're adjacent to, that's fine. Yeah. And also I'm adding three, and that's easy. Okay. Um a goost. Uh slushy slushy to one of the guys on me. You do it. Uh, 15 plus 8... Hang on a second, I'm on the wrong page. Yes, 8. Nope. 23, whatever. Was that a nope? Oh, 15 or a yep? plus 8. 15 plus yes. 8, right. 15 plus yeah, 8. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh -huh. uh, I heard I 5 okay. plus 8. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's only a 2 plus 5, so... 7. Only a 7. Mm -hmm. And then... All right. They don't get an attack of opportunity if I go for the other one that's also on me, right? Nope. Okay, so I want to go for the other guy with this hit. All right. I'm not going to use friendship yet. Hang on. Okay. 17 plus 8. Yep. That one's also a 2 plus. Uh, 
five, seven. Seven, all right. Uh, so I just wanna go ahead and do the thing so that I can help hopefully get over there sooner or then later. Do the oh, thing. Do the thing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this the thing. Julie, what do the, the thing. thing. Is. Uh Julie, do the thing. The second hang on, I always get them mixed up. Second wind or is it no, it's action surge. Oh. And we go on hit again. Do I right. now if I do action surge, do I get the two attacks again or is it only one? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. He says you attack twice with every one attack action, so you get a new action. Cool. So you do your okay. double attack, one and then the other. Yeah. Ten plus uh, eight, eighteen. That's a hit. Woo. Okay. Six plus two. Okay. Eight. All and right. And the other one. Uh, that's only a six plus eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is not a hit. That is a disappointment. Okay. Damn. Yeah, it is. Oh, you went. Yeah, it is. Three out of four ain't bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. The plus eight helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. Definitely does. Um, I think we're on Ericron now, and Glenn, you're up after Ericron. Okay. <laughs> so enthused. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to. Uh, bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on, uh, one of the, one of the cultists and swing at him. Ready. Oh. Take your best shot, hot shot. Yeah. Uh, seventeen. That's a hit, barely. Okay. And then first initial damage is 10, but then with Hunter's Mark is a D6. Yeah. Uh, max on that, so 16. All right. With that first swing and swinging again, do it. Seventeen again. That'll do. And then damage first. Oh. Minimum damage for first swing, and then hundred mark swing two. Okay. Phoned it in on that second, second attack. What did you do? I uh, I attacked again, and then yep. uh, I rolled a five for the initial damage, and then two for the hunter's mark to add. Okay, so seven damage in total for that second swing. Okay. Um and. Am I in? Am I in like the the thick of it, or if, am I? Um... You're kind of on the peripheral of one of the guys. Like you can, uh, like he's been uh, the 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 one that's been knocked down by the horse. So you can kind of, and, and you and August are kind of working him as well as the horse. Okay. Um, but yeah, actually, he's on the ground. You can you can disengage. I no, use no, he's gotten up. Never mind. No, he's gotten out, so... I use my bonus action to cast yeah. uh, Hunter's Mark anyway. Yeah. Uh, either way. Um, well, if he's down, he can't attack. Oh, he's not da- sorry, he's not down. He did get up. I'm sorry. Oh. I just... Okay. Never my mind. brain is made uh, of Swiss cheese. No, you're good. Uh, just movement and all that. Uh, I'll end my turn right there. Okay. All right. Uh, next up is Glenn. Um, I want to be sure the horses were ran to me on the end of my last, or during my last turn. Yeah, and Burnt Marshmallow is now caught up to you. Okay, I am going to reach out and grab their reins, and I want them, like, one on either side of me. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna, like, 
race on out of there out of contact range or fireball range. Okay. Um, just so you know, a fireball's range is 150 feet, so there is no out of fireball range. That was my concern. Yeah. But I'm more worried if I tell them to, like, because it's either that or I tell them to scatter, right? And then right. there's just loose horses. So, oh, wait, let me. No, maybe that wouldn't help. Is there any, like, um, what's the landscape around us? Like, is there anywhere that I could take cover or hide or no. like, run into trees? Oh, no, this is perfect fireball te uh, terrain. Right, that's ideal. Thank you. Thank you for setting that up. Um... The only way this would be more perfect fireball terrain is if it was made of flammable materials <laughs> and oil. Hey. <laughs> that a, a shop, if you will. Yeah, a, a, a oil shop. Um... I, I just don't like your prices, sir. Fireball. Better watch your step, Drake, before I tag the horse lore. <laughs> the lovers of horse lore. They will flock. They will flock! I would like to cast Long Strider at third level on me and, or like on all three of horses. Yep. And then I would like to jet us out of there as fast as I can. All right. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to have them do a uh, dash action. Yes, please. All right. So they get as far away as they can. And uh, you're hoping that's going to be enough to convince the priest not to. Or he will you. hopefully otherwise be distracted by the brawlers on foot in front of him. Maybe? The the one wild horse that's on top of him? Or at the very least, my friends. <laughs> they are still oh, there. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. We will see. What is the priest going to do? I mean, is that all you're doing, though? Like, because you've got... I've got. Yeah, you've got the horses done. You've moved them. You've commanded them. Is there anything else you would like to do? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Us. All right, good enough. Um. Then we'll move on to uh, another fireball. Then. Fuck. I hate you. Was there something I could have done? No, this isn't the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did your best. Considering I've only got two level three slots left. And I'd like you to make an animal handling roll, please. Okay. At least these I'm not as bad at. Twelve? Uh, Twelve? Okay. Uh, Glenn, I'm going to need you to make me three horse yeah. saving throw, please. Okay. These are dexterity? Yes. Okay. I just make a straight dexterity saving throw. Uh, don't add anything to it. Just right. no bonus. Just. Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Um. If anyone has inspiration, now is the chance. No. That I was a two, a, six, Damn it. Or a two, a nine, and a one. Two, nine, and a one. Okay. Next, oh, no! I need. Which saving throws. Go to? I don't have it. Don't Next set of saving throws I'm going to need are from Wick, August, and Aerocron. Pick me. I don't care anymore. Um, how close are we together, by the way? <laughs> You're definite. Oh, yes. That's a good question. Um, the Go answer forward. is. Yeah, the answer is yes to that. Yes. Okay. Next ones? Next saving throws? I thought we'd just be encountering henchmen. This is like a real bad guy just out in the woods. Does he just hang out in fireball territory and look, wait for hapless travelers? 
out in the woods? They use the Sorg elements, by the way. 19. I am dexterous. I am dexterous. Okay. A 14 will save. So, um, the entire party takes half damage because they either have resistance to fire or... I still cast... Uh... Are the horses the party? Elements. Observe elements, so you're going to take even half or half or damage? Okay. Yeah. Well, find out how much damage you take before you necessarily commit a level one slot to it. Okay. Um, 15... Doo -doo -doo -doo. This one's a doozy. So, 34... Divided by 2 is going to be 17... I mean, regardless, I get, like, an elemental boost. And, well, I guess they are fire people, so it probably wouldn't even hurt them. Um, uh, quick question. Is it just one person that casts Fireball so far? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So did you say it was 18 points of damage? Uh, 17. Uh, 17 points of damage. To them, Glenn, you don't worry about it. You're fine. Um, the horses. The I'm just confused. Uh, hang on, the hang on. Damage, yeah. Yeah, give me a second here. Okay. I'm doing no, math. I thought I missed something. I'm sorry. I'm 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 doing I'm doing the math. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. It's um, not all good. Pierce isn't here to do the math. I've got to step up. I'm trying my heckin' best. Warning: <laughs> um, the loss of a horse, likely. Okay, so uh, the priest summons the ghost cannon thing again, and this time the ghost just explodes itself in a big burst of fire around... Uh, or near the priest, catching everybody in the melee, including his own people. Um, one of the cultists, the one that was previously being trampled by the horse, has been destroyed. Um, all the fey horses just decide they want they they want no more of this, so they go back to where they come from, and everyone else takes fire damage. Yeah, I'll still absorb element. All right, Joe, yes. take. Mm, hang on, let me check. Okay. Let me check, because I don't know if that's actually going to reduce damage. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that doesn't matter. I just wanted to absorb the element. Wait, you saved? So, yes, it would. So, you'll take half damage, yes. So, half of 17? Yep, so that'll be uh, eight points of damage instead. Okay. Resistance. All right. Uh, Wick. Uh, so, am I closer to the priest? Mm, no, you're closer to the uh, cultist that you've been hacky slashing. So if I walk over to the priest, can I can I get to him? You can. You'll get a swing uh, taken at you, but um, I mean that's your. I'll take it. Prerogative. I'll All take right. it. I'm going over to the priest. Yeah, he misses you. And he's just like whiff, and you're like yeah, with whatever. With advantage. <laughs> Um, with advantage, yeah. Okay. He missed you. All right. Uh, this dude has shot at us and our horses. I'm done. No more playing. I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Uh, reckless. All right. So thirteen plus seven. Uh, that's a hit for sure. Twenty. Two, you, eight again, plus six, eight. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen, plus six, so sixteen plus six is... Yeah, he's dead. Okay, I'm not yeah. even going to do, do the math, he's, he's toast. He has ketchup. The priest? You Damn, he was a softie. You don't fuck around when you can fucking attack my horse. He's a 
He's a magic user. Usually they are. Uh, can I reach any? It's of not the that he things? actually. He took a lot of damage before the right. fireball. Yeah. Um, you can you can walk back. Yeah, you can saunter back. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm gonna... Was he the one? Was he the one casting the fireball? Yeah. Okay. Fireball man is gone. Great. I'm just gonna attack the first one I get to. So natural twenty. Oh, he's dead. I'm not even gonna have you roll that damage. He is deleted. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. <laughs> you could roll one on all those dice, and he'd still be extra deleted. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Did we have any other natural twenties besides the ones that you did? Uh, there was the one on the horse, but I don't think that counts. Um, you can walk. Up, you can walk up to the others, and you still haven't even done your flame aura yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna set the flame aura off and just kind of look at them and just go, "No surrender," and you attacked us first. All right, Aircron. Oh, right. How many are left now? Uh, just the two. Okay. Great. Um. Oh wait, no, August, August. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. My usual. We're we're not All gonna right. waste any spells less on these motherfuckers. All right. Uh, twelve plus eight. That's a hit. Okay. So that is a four plus two, so six plus a a six um fire. So how much normal damage? Eight. Yes. Eight, eight normal okay. damage and six fire. The roll to six. Okay. Eight normal damage. And then half of that is sufficient to kill it. Okay. Right, cool. And you got another attack. Yep, the other guy. Do it. We gotta keep rolling this one. Yeah, 16 plus 8. Yep. And it's just a D... Uh, oh, that's only a 1, so uh, 7... Wait, hang on, what do I get? I already forgot. Damn it. You get the murder disease. A five. Yeah, so a six um, damage. All right. You win. Yay. <laughs> woo woo woo. <laughs> All right. Is there anybody else still standing? No. Is there a horse on the ground? No. Oh. Uh, Wickham's gonna see for a bit and then go check on the horses in Glencora and just kind of, like, be angry but quietly. They're okay. very injured, but they're not dead. I don't that's understand. Really I thought the horse just took more damage in that, sec in that fireball. I think yeah. he was doing it to psych us out. I, I had you roll for the wild horses that you'd summoned. Oh, I was confused. Okay. He was building tension like uh. a liar. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. still like holding my notebook out, and I, I, I thought it was like I thought it was flippy cloppy, and we were all gonna like just quit the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> How far are we from home? Uh, you're about uh, thirty minutes out. I'm gonna check the camp after I've checked on the horses. It's not really a camp; it's just some hastily set bonfires. Uh, okay. They. There, there's nothing organized here. They literally just set them up, um, ready to just murder you guys. Uh, from what you gather, this was an ambush site for you. They knew you'd gone out, and then they prepared. No actual site of Atlas, right? No actual site of Atlas. No. Okay. Uh, right now, Atlas is probably safe at home, drinking cocoa with a smug face and a hat and a millipede buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Do they have anything of note on them, or? Nope. Loot the bodies. Okay. We always so forget. I guess we limp on home. Unless anyone has objections? I can cast a healing word. On, on the horses? Uh, creature, uh, well, a creature. They can just walk home and sleep, can't they? Yeah. Wow. 
No, I, I, I just don't understand the spell slot. I, yeah, That's well, I mean, yeah, I haven't, one, I haven't used up a spell slot, but uh, today, yet, and two, I thought, um, for some reason, I thought Healing Word affected everybody within earshot, like, that I wanted, oh. so. No, it's, it's thing is, it's a minor action. Or bonus action. Bonus action, yeah. Uh, I, like, like cure wounds, you heal for more, That's but but um, healing word is like a D four plus my mods. So I thought it was like a. I mean, we're about to go I'm, take a I'm, nap. Yeah, I'm probably thinking of the bard, the bard version of that too. Please just. Oh, the, the bard version is the same. Okay. Never mind. I can. Uh, I don't know. Wick is like pleading, like with these eyes. Please, please kill the horses. Yeah, please. Yeah, I mean, I can do it. We're gonna go take a nap. You'll come back. You're a paladin. You have options. Yeah. Um. Uh, which ones look like they need it? Uh, both Char, um... your horse, your horse, and Cliffy Cloppy are at eighteen. They are. Ha they only have nineteen H HP. They have okay. one HP so. each. Wait. Oh, one taken away each, yeah. No. Oh. No. no. They have no. one HP. have one HP left, both of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Um, oh, that's a concern. Yeah. I Looking at the number on the screen versus what you were telling me, I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so um, I'll cast... I'll cast Cure wounds twice on each of the horses. All right, uh, uh, you can roll once for that. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. How's that twenty-one? Yeah, how is that twenty-one? <laughs> <laughs> I I it, I see the big number twenty-one, but I saw eight, seven, and six. I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't that doesn't compute. But yeah. Uh, Eight, uh, 21, yeah. I cast it at second level, by the way. Oh, well, 2d8 plus... So, yeah, they're fully healed. 2d8 plus 6. All really, right, okay. really love our horses. And then That's how is, to bring them back. And how's burnt marshmallow looking? Not burnt. He's Still okay, I don't think he took any damage. No. Okay. Like I said, I casted the those at second level, so I don't mind using up two spell slots. Yeah, we'll go take a nap, plus it just shows them that, you know, yeah. we care about them. They do a lot for us. Right. Um, you take them back? And you're right back in town? And I have to poop really badly, so I'm going to be right back. We'll be here. So we right, can take right. a break. Okay. okay, do you want me to stop the recording? You can pause the recording and you guys figure out what your next move is or something. All right, I'm going to stop. stop the recording and then we'll pick up when Drake comes back at uh, part B. Stop it in three, two, one. <laughs>